Hello beautiful people and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, please hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my other videos. So as you know, I'm Kira and for today's video, I thought I would discuss something that pertains to uh, two of my biggest issues which I have stated in my introductory video and that is environmental awareness and animal rights. Over the past five or six years, uh, two of the biggest issues that have uh, been discussed is uh, animal cruelty as well as um, consumption of meat product and animal products. And so for today's video, I thought I would talk about my journey to being vegetarian and being a vegetarian currently. So I have been a vegetarian now for around two and a half years. I think it will be two and a half years exactly on the 1st of June. And so to start off my journey, how it started is that I feel that it is when my mom was pregnant for me. Um, something my mom has seen when she was both pregnant for me and my sister is that our liking for food as well as the food that we dislike the most tended to be what she hated during her pregnancy as well as what she loved during her pregnancy. Um, and uh, in my case, when my mom was pregnant for me, yes, she had like chicken and stuff, but she said some of her biggest cravings were for vegetables. She ate vegetarian dishes so many times during her pregnancy, especially green beans and potatoes. And that's probably why I love green beans and potatoes, not just as vegetables, but as dishes. Like, give me a whole uh, bowl of them and I can eat them. Except potato soup. I hate potato soup. But any other form of potato, I'm your girl. Anyway, coming back to reality. So I think that's where it started off with. And uh, growing up, and I've said I've lived in Cape Town for about five years of my life, um, my mom's parents were vegetarians for 25 to 30 years and this meant that uh, they actually lived up the road from my uh, primary school and so I tended to go there almost every single day after school for um, lunch or we they would come over and my grandparents house we were not allowed to bring any meat products uh, you were not allowed to eat any meat in their house so the dishes that they cooked for us and that we ate there were always vegetarian dishes. And I think that had a big influence on me um, growing up with them as well as being surrounded by that type of lifestyle. Seeing it as such, I mean it is a normal thing but um, for some people they might not even have had exposure to uh, family members or friends who have been vegetarian for me uh, before them. So they, uh, it was a very big influence on me to see them eating vegetarian food and um, also uh, bringing me vegetarian food. I think that gave me a very big uh, liking towards it because I had these tasty dishes that didn't have any meat in them and so I tended to really love um, that type of food. Um, Besides my mom's pregnancy influence and my grandparents' influence, uh, another huge factor that played in starting my journey is that I am a devotee of the Sri Sathya Sai organization, as well as I grew up and am in a Hindu household. And um, with these two um, religious uh, views, it's always been uh, taught to treat all uh, living things with love and of course that includes your animals and um, for both of them uh, for religious um, occasions for special occasions um, for fasting during a month of protasi which runs from october from 17th of september to 17th of october it's a whole month of fasting and we fasted also on Mondays and Thursdays every single week uh, and occasionally Tuesdays. Now the way we fast is we do not eat any meat products, uh, not meat products, my bad. We do not eat any meat 
including eggs and that means most of our baked goods were eggless as well and we also don't have alcohol so for fasting for so much of my life and being taught so much about loving animals and respecting them it also gave me another prospect on uh, how you should actually live uh, your life now this is not a preaching video but just for me that's how I perceived the teachings that I was um, I was taught or uh, what I was surrounded by and so those three factors I think kick-started um, this questioning about uh, uh, ethical eating and um, my love for vegetarian food um, and the ethical responsibility towards food. Um, overall, I was never a very big meat eater. Like obviously, like sometimes I like the lamb chop or uh, when we had a braai or a barbecue. Uh, but uh, overall, I have never had pork in my life intentionally i mean sometimes you go to a restaurant and you order mac and cheese and then they'd come with bacon on the top and you wouldn't know that or you'd have a mix up with your order but i have never had things like steak or a, a, a pork sausage or a pork chop or i've never had anything like that in my life so i always uh, for the most part of my life stuck to things like lamb chicken and seafood those are like the only meats that i would consider things that i've actually eaten in my life because the other two um were not as big or they didn't really uh i didn't choose to eat them intentionally i think with with uh, even beef i had a bit of withdrawal once or twice and that's because i thought all meat was the same so i never really asked what a bit of withdrawal was and with bultong I used to eat it like once or twice in like every five years and that was like when we went on a road trip but overall I never ate beef because again in Hinduism um, we look to the cow as our mother so obviously we do not eat any beef um, but with lamb yes I did like it when we had a braai but that was like for the first 10 years of my life after that I don't know what changed but I hated the taste of lamb I could not stand the texture um, and so I gave up red meat completely when I was 14 or 15 and this meant that at things like braise or um, when my family would cook mutton curry I tended to stay to vegetarian options such as the roast potatoes the salads the um, uh, baked rolls uh, or vegetarian pastas or pasta salad that's what I tended to stay to and so um, eventually I was like, why do I actually need meat products? You know, I've survived so well without eating red meat. It won't be uh, bad to give up uh, things like chicken and seafood or even other um, meat products. And so I decided I wanted to become fully vegan at the age of 16. However, this was not possible because I had a, a mild, am, uh, not amnesia, anemia. <laughs> and so it made it, uh, uh, it would have compromised my health quite badly and my anemia would have worsened if I had continued with, uh, if I had become a full on uh, vegan. So I decided, okay, I will continue to eat chicken and seafood, but that too very rarely. And so I ate chicken and seafood maybe like, once or twice a week maybe three times if that was it but i tended to still try my best to stay with vegetarian food um but then my health slowly became better and uh, on the 31st of december uh, 2017 i had chicken pasta and still i was like so set on eventually becoming a vegan or at least a vegetarian in my life that I said okay for my matric year which is grade 12 or your senior year I am going to give up meat completely now this decision was something I've been thinking about quite a lot because my mom was also a vegetarian in her matric year and um, she did it from a health point of view as well as religiously 
so I said I think I want to do the same and so I started on the 1st of January 2018. I gave up meat completely and I did so because I felt like in the previous years of me eating, I would get uh, eating meat. I would get quite lethargic, uh, I would feel very sleepy. I just did not like how it made me feel because um, I didn't want to eat meat and I had to because of health issues but now that my issues were good, I didn't need to do that and I also did it as an offering to God. I just, I just felt um, I needed just uh, extra help during the matric year because of all the stories I've heard about how stressful it is and it was stressful and so I did it as an offering. And so yes, that's how my journey basically started. And I think I'm very lucky that it came quite easily for me. And that's because uh, I have been surrounded by friends who are vegetarian themselves. My friends Taylor and Sinead have been vegans uh, since grade 11, so since they were 16 or 17, I think. And they were vegetarians for two years before that. And so uh, they gave me a lot of pointers along with my friend Robin, who's a vegetarian, on how to help with it, what are good substitutes, uh, what should I look out for, where's the best places to shop, what are the best restaurants, and we even had like a WhatsApp group to give recipes to one another, just to uh, create a sense of community, because I was so new to this, I mean I'd been exposed to it before, but I'd never gone fully into, into it, and uh, so they wanted to make my transition as easy uh, and as effortless as uh, they could to help me because I was kind of like okay this is easy but now what now um, and um, along with that my friend in university Danielle she also uh, is just like me she tries to be as plant-based and in that respect she also we help each other with the recipes and to stay focused and to make sure we don't make mistakes and to find out if there's vegetarian options on campus or in the restaurants we go to. Another factor that helped my transition become uh, quite easy is that my mom has now for the past 12 years been something I call a half vegetarian and that's because she only eats um, seafood and eggs and that too very occasionally. So for most of the time our meals tend to be the same thing and she tends to make vegetarian options unless like she's feeling for meat then she'll make a vegetarian, I mean not meat, fish or eggs to make a vegetarian option and then just add in the seafood that she wants uh, separately. Um, but also with my grandparents and just Indian people in general being such a huge majority of the vegetarian uh, community, we have millions of tasty recipes on uh, that are vegetarian such as like butter beans or paneer uh, um, uh, I'm going completely blank now, but we have tons of vegetarian um, meals which we have that makes it tasty and not forcing me to have like a salad every time I eat a meal. So that also made it easy because we knew exactly what to cook um, since we had already been fasting previously or since there are just recipes which have been passed down during, during um, uh, the different generations. And then I think the third factor that helped me to become more on the plant-based side rather than just being a, a vegetarian is that I never liked eggs. So I do not eat the phys uh, physical eggs. I mean, I'll have it if it's in a cake or a biscuit, but I do not eat eggs at all. And with dairy, I hate cream. So I never have cream. I always like, take, ask for it to be taken off or my sister takes it for me. Um, I hate milk as well. I think in my previous video you saw me having my robust tea plain. I've never liked milk even in my hot chocolate. Only time I had milk was maybe like a teaspoon or so in my wheat bix but otherwise cereals like um, Kellogg's and Cheerios I tended to eat just plain and the only dairy thing I actually eat is things like um, uh, ice cream or if it's in like the icing of a cake or something like that but otherwise I'm
pretty much dairy free except when I eat an ice when I eat ice cream and I'm completely egg free unless it's in mixed into something. I do not have it on its own. And so that is basically my journey to being a vegetarian. It's something that I've wanted to share for a very long time because I do get questions when I ask people, don't you uh, miss meat? How did you transition? When did you decide? And so I thought I'd just make a video uh, answering all of these questions for everyone to see. And hopefully if you are thinking about becoming a vegetarian or a vegan, you can definitely uh, leave comments down below and I'll be happy to answer them or uh, just help you to show that it is possible and it does come with hiccups along the way. Don't get me wrong, there's times where I've been served something with meat in it when I've ordered a vegetarian option or when I didn't know that there was, I don't know, cream on something, but you are human at the end of the day and it is a long process. You never, Someone is never gonna get the transition completely right from the get-go. Um, but uh, even if you aren't thinking of becoming a vegetarian, I hope that this was entertaining and informative. Um, in no way, just a disclaimer, in no way am I trying to change um, how you eat or what your diet is. This is my own personal journey and opinion uh, as to why and how I became a vegetarian but I am in no way telling you that you have to change or that you're a bad person if you eat meat because at the end of the day it's everyone's choice. Um, so yes that brings me to the end of my video. I really hope that you enjoyed it please like, share, subscribe and leave comments down below and I hope that your week until my next video is filled with so much love, happiness, growth and positivity. Love you guys. Bye.